stay strong, Jay. Stay push strong. It. Keep on pushing, man. Keep on pushing. I feel like shit, man. <laughs> Stop eating. Fuck it. You're gonna feel like shit. Huh. You gonna give up? No. I guess feel my uh, my dragon in my football. It's pretty funny. Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> Who's the guy running from? Um, I think my mom or dad bought it for me mm. a long time ago. Mm. Where's that bracelet from? Same. Your parents? This one is from Thailand. Uh huh. About six years ago, mm -hmm. and this one is from Vietnam a year ago. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. You bought you it last year. Um, I used to wear this one, but oh. then like, it's really hard to get on and off, yeah. and also it's cloth, so yeah. like it's it gets yeah. when it gets wet, it's yeah. gonna smell and like yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the I used to wear a lot of beads actually. Yeah. But then I had a couple of like incidences with beans. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> You had an incident with beads. <laughs> <laughs> like, I lost them on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> kind of shit, what are you doing in Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, there's like two separate times when I was wearing them. And then um, I was just sitting there. I wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting there and it just snapped out of nowhere. Oh. oh. Right? And then people say like, that's... That was protecting you yeah. for something bad happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It avoided yeah. something like a tragedy in your life. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I wasn't doing anything to, to straighten it out. I was just literally yeah. just sitting there, just. I was yeah. like, shit, I could have just got like in a, maybe a car accident or something because yeah, I was yeah, sitting yeah. in the car. Yeah. Oh, shit, it was in the car? I thought you were at home. No, I was just like sitting in the car. I wasn't driving though. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I was like, yo, maybe I just avoided a fucking car yeah. accident, you know? Yeah. So ever since then, I kind of like just don't wear it just in case to yeah. scare myself anymore. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys superstitious? No. Not necessarily. No. Maybe I'm just like one of those like bad religion people where like I only pick and choose what I want to oh, okay. right. like yeah. kind of input in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, so, but but you, obviously you guys choose to like you won't if there's a ladder in your path you're going to choose to walk around it. you're not going to walk under it. Right? No, I don't give a fuck. That's what you been He's not going to do that. <laughs> Oh, you don't, yeah, you I don't care. I've, I've been in house. I kicked down a mirror before, smashed it. You know? <laughs> Tore apart a bar's washroom. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll avoid all those things. Yeah. Yeah. Like the number four is yeah. like that for Asian shit. Yeah. yeah. You avoid the number 13? Oh. Uh, like in what sense? I don't know. Thirteen is supposed to be like an unlucky yeah, number. Yeah, bad. Oh. Yeah. Do you believe like eight's a lucky number? No. Uh -huh. I always like the number eight though. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not necessarily connected to. Maybe it is. Oh, maybe yeah. I got influenced when I was younger. My parents implanted it in my head. But mm. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So my my favorite numbers are the worst numbers and the best numbers. <laughs> uh. So four, seven, eight, nine. 13 ah. so I got two bad numbers and three really good numbers oh. and I feel like that's my life <laughs> <laughs> yeah I remember I was telling my mom that and she was just like freaking out on me like why do you like that number mm. but I don't know for all my life like the number four really like yeah, I know. kept seeing it yeah. and I kept like seeing like just certain connections with number four yeah, you know it was just popping over at you yeah and like yeah. same with number 13 it was also because I was born on the 13th Okay. And then, like, a lot of, like, um, my favorite, like, sports players are number yeah. 13 as well. Ooh. Like, you know, just stuff like that, yeah, right? Sure. Matt Sundin. Matt Sundin, my boy. <laughs> He's the golf player, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the off season. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the last greatest Leafs captain? Or Doug Gilmore? Who's better Doug Gilmore or Matt Sundin? <laughs> I, I, I liked Doug Gilmore better. How come? Yeah. I don't know. He was just like, he was just so cool back like when I was playing like street hockey and shit. Yeah. Like, Everyone wants like, to be him. Yeah. Yeah. Like Matt Sundin was kind of like the new era. Like he, he took, he took over for, yeah. you know, handed him to see. Ah. Uh, yeah. What about you? Do you watch hockey back? 
No. Did really? you watch any sports when you were a kid? No. Really? No, I just was cartoons. Oh, damn. That was my yeah. thing, man. Yeah. I never... I played sports. Yeah. Never watched it. Never really cared. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I fell off hockey. I used to, like, religiously watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, get the stats. Yeah. The player stats. You get the cards. Magazine. Yeah, I have cards. I take showers with the guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was obsessed with Sundin. I, I was obsessed with Sundin, man. I had, I had like over like 200 of his cards. Damn. <laughs> like my parents would give me like allowance money and yeah. I would spend it all on hockey yeah. cards. Back then it was huge though. They yeah. had like those stalls in the malls that sold yeah. like yeah. cards and shit. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I had a hockey book collection. Like some guy gave it to my dad. Damn. Mm. That's like a pack of cigarettes on my <laughs> <laughs> so you were looking at um, yearbooks yesterday as well. Yeah. Oh. What, what, what emotions were you feeling? Well, I, I quickly briefed with it, but uh, I don't know. It's just like fuck, yo. Like I grew up fast. Like, yeah. I, like a lot of the elementary, I still. It's still like pretty clear. Like some events. Mm. It's like the smell of it, and like it was pretty crazy. I used to remember the vending. Remember the Camilla vending machine? Yeah. I used to always get Jolly Ranchers. Mm. Yeah, every day. So you always had a thing of Jolly Ranchers on you. Yeah, and like I was people known, always ask you for one. Yeah, I was known as a Jolly Rancher. Yeah, guy. I was yeah. a gum guy. Yeah, were you? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was yeah. a gum guy. Yeah, I gotta get those. I, I gotta get those um, those Jolly Ranchers just to bring back those like mm. we lived that moment. I think yeah. grape was my favorite grape and like grape green good, apple. Yeah. Green apple. Watermelon good. was fire too. Yeah. They're all good, man. Yeah, they're all good. Yeah, yeah. They're all good. yeah. the hard candy you guys are talking about. Yeah, the hard candy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that shit mm-hmm. was fire. Oh, other candies? I think they came with like the soft chew ones. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I know that. yeah they have gummies now. That shit was bunk. Nah, it's yeah, it's different. What about you? What, what emotions were you? Uh, it was fun, man. I, I I laughed a lot. It was like great seeing like just how your life was before, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So simple. Yeah, and just like you're so innocent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and like. Things that matter to you then was just so important that just mean fuck all. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then you're looking at all the people who sign your yearbook. It's always like, keep in touch. You know, here's my number. Right. I, I can pr- probably say 99% of those people, I have no idea what they look like or who they are anymore. Like, yeah. no one, none of them. Oh, I understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was great though, man. Like, and it was funny too because, like, Everybody was like wishing me good luck with this girl that I was trying to get with. Yeah. Like, how did the whole school know? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> did girl, I man. did I go out and tell everybody about her? You That's know? No, but it's also because like she was older, right? Yeah. So yeah. like that that was already a oh, big thing. You know? yeah, yeah. Even yeah. Sure. even my teachers. Oh yeah. 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 Even my teachers. But one teacher. Um, I think she's my social studies teacher. She's like, oh, and David, I never knew you were such a rom- romantic guy. She's she's a she's a lucky girl. Have like you know good luck. Damn. I was like, damn, you know, yeah. and she, this, this teacher hated me too, by the damn. way, but it's just like end of the year blues yeah, yeah, and yeah, was yeah, graduating yeah. type of shit, yeah, you know, yeah. so, you know, people are nice and shit, right? Yeah. So, um, what ended up happening to this girl? So what happened was, <laughs> yo man, <laughs> so she's a year older than me. Yeah. So then we were in middle school, so it's only six to six to eight. Yeah. Right. And Hold on. one second. Five. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Five. 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 Five don't lie. Five. Go ahead. Hmm. Do you recall much about that? No. I don't think I was really your friend back then. You mean I wasn't your friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, like, uh, we obviously have mutual friends. We were friends, but we weren't like... No, I... I <clears throat> No, because I think we were, became friends when I was, went to grade 9, and then you're in grade 8. Is that what happened? Yeah. Oh, what happened with uh, your wifey back oh, yeah. then? Oh, that girl. Fuck. Hmm. Let me try to remember. I know the gist of it, but I can't remember exactly what happened. But basically, I was like this kid who like just wore a lot of Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. And I had to, like spiky hair. Yep. I was Rick. just like, <laughs> 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 we gotta put the picture of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I like. I was into like wearing like, like shiny shirts as well, like just button ups and shit, like, like funky bu- button ups and shit, like dragon s- shirts, yeah. and, like yeah. silky. Yeah, you know, and like I played like a lot of sports, like, uh, like I was part of like the cool kids, you know what I mean? And then 
saw this girl who's older. I think she was kind of with a mutual friend of ours. They weren't really together together, but I think he was like chasing her. Right. Type of thing. But he wasn't like he's like not exactly my friend, but we were cool, right? Right. But like I kinda saw her and I got I was like kinda like fell in love with her. Right? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But like it was so so funny because we were like completely different people. Like this girl was so innocent. She didn't even listen to like rap music really. Like she uh-huh. was into like anime and like alternative rock. You know what I mean? Like she's just like the sweetest, like fucking most quiet girl. Mm. You know what I mean? I was like this very outgoing, like like sport like sporty guy yeah. and stuff like that, right? Like the jock. Yeah, and like I don't know how like we got to talking and stuff like that and at first, I was like, yo, this girl's older than me, too. Like, there's no way this is happening. Right. But I, I guess I was, like, kind of happy that like, we were even friends. Yeah. Type mm-hmm. of thing, right? Do you remember how you guys even started talking? Or, like, how you guys It was met? definitely through another mutual friend. Um, okay. That girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Yeah, that other girl. Yeah. Like, it's just introduced, I guess? Or? I think so, yeah. I think we hung out a couple times, like, as a group setting. Yeah. And then I think my, like, adoration for her just grew and grew and grew. I'm like, yo, I need to have this girl. Like, mm. like you know, and, like we were having like deep like conversations and stuff like, like whenever we talk like our our reputations our images just like went out the window yeah, like, yeah. we were just like you know like just connection you know like yeah. we just we just vibed you know yeah. right but that's then, love yeah man and then like i just somehow some way <laughs> we sure. somehow some way like we got together yeah <laughs> but then but then she graduated to go to high school yep. and then i stayed in middle school gotcha but for some reason, we never kept in contact. It's different, man. Once you hit high school, like it's, it's different. Like, oh, you talk to a middle schooler? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's not... No, but honestly, she didn't really care. Honestly, yeah, okay. she did, didn't really give a fuck about that. Yeah. It, it was like, she lived her own life and I was living my own life. Right. And like, even when we talked like once every couple of weeks, it just wasn't the same. Right. Uh, like, I remember the first conversation on the phone call we had like maybe the first month that she was in high school like it was just yeah. like a different person she uh, changed i changed uh, you know what i mean like things just started transitioning so fast mm, yeah. you know what i mean because like i think along the way when i was in grade seven you're kind of like middle of the pack you're not exactly young but you're not the oldest right right, right? so you're kind of just like kind of figuring out who you are yeah but by the time i got to grade eight i knew who the fuck i was yeah and she just kind of didn't fit in that picture no more yeah right? you know what i mean and then i think things just fizzled out but like during that time no i like I was certain that was love, like yeah, certain true. that was love. You know what I mean? And just give me, hold on, I'll just continue. No, I think that's it, man. That's it. Don't think you should. Just pause. Yeah, it. I can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> just pause.